Welcome back to the next episode of Arrakis Central. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. In this video, we'll be talking about Gurney Halleck, his origins, and what exactly is his background. Gurney Halleck is most notably known for being the War Master of the House Atreides and the Sword Master and Teacher of Paul Atreides. The aspect that is not commonly talked about or not commonly known unless you've read the books is his origins. Gurney Halleck was born in the year 10,130 AG after the Guild. One of the more interesting aspects to Gurney Halleck is that he was actually a slave to the Harkonnens and was rescued by Duke Leto. After he was rescued from the slave pits by Duke Leto, he would then enter the service as the Duke's War Master. Gurney Halleck would have a great hatred for House Harkonnen and all Harkonnens due to the fact that they murdered his sister when he was in servitude. Gurney would work alongside Hufir Hawat and Duncan Idaho as the premier trainers and teachers of Paul Atreides, Duke Leto's son. This was shown extensively in the 1984 film and in the recent 2021 film as well. In the books, Gurney Halleck is described as not being a very good looking man and having very lumpy features to his face. Once the Atreides family took over the thiefdom of the planet Dune, Gurney Halleck would accompany him as shown in the various films and TV series and in the books. Gurney Halleck was also talented with the ballast, which is a musical instrument close to like the guitar, and he would often play songs for Paul to entertain him. I am hoping in Doom Part 2 we will see some Balisset playing by Gurney Halleck. After the events of the fall of House Atreides on the planet Dune, Gurney Halleck did not leave the planet. He actually embedded himself in a group of smugglers. He vowed for vengeance against House Harkonnen after the killing of his duke, and he would continue a long battle of disrupting in any way he could the operations of the Harkonnens. But before I go into this next part, I want to establish that there is a spoiler warning ahead if you continue on with this video for the Dune Part 2 film that is coming out next month. Approximately two years after the fall of House Atreides, in which Paul has taken on the mantle of Muad'Dib and embedded himself with the Fremen, Gurney Halleck will fall for a trap which unknowingly Paul set. This will lead to a skirmish in which Gurney is captured and almost killed by Paul, but then the two of them recognize each other at the end of the battle and he realizes that Paul was not dead all these years and that he has actually become almost the leader of the Fremen. The next part is crucial from the book in which Gurney travels back to one of the sieges to where Paul was based out of and he reunites with Paul's mother, Lady Jessica. Well, unknown to Paul and Jessica, Gurney had thought all these years that Jessica was the traitor to House Atreides and not Dr. Yui. In that moment when he realizes Lady Jessica was there and he thinks that she is the traitor, he grabs her and threatens to kill her, and Paul has to convince Gurney that the entire time it was Dr. Yui and they have proof that Dr. Yui was the actual traitor. This was very interesting in the book because all of those years, Gurney had thought that Lady Jessica was the traitor due to the training that Dr. Yui had and how the Sook School and their training cannot be overridden. Paul does convince him and then he feels ashamed and actually asks to be killed on the spot for betraying and threatening the life of the Duke's mother, which Paul is his Duke now. But Paul basically says this is foolishness. You did not know. We're not holding this against you that you thought that his mom was the traitor because that was actually a bit of information that was spread around earlier in the book. And he says, you're one of my most trusted, you know, advisors, trainers, mentors. There's no way I would 
kill you, essentially. And from then on, Gurney Halleck will be one of the most trusted right-hand men of Paul Muad'Dib going forward in that book and in the books ahead. After the events of Dune, when Paul becomes the Emperor and the Jihad begins, Gurney is actually given the Thief of Caladan and Paul sends him there to rule over Caladan while he is controlling Dune and the Spice and basically taking over the entire Imperium. And depending on whether or not you consider the Brian Herbert books intertwined with the Frank Herbert books as canon, in the events of Winds of Dune, when they realize Paul has journeyed out into the desert to essentially commit suicide, Lady Jessica and Gurney will have to travel back to Dune to aid Aaliyah, who is now the regent of the Imperium. And in that is aspect, he is reunited with the Gola of Duncan, Idaho, and they do have some sort of reunion in that story, which is very interesting. Eventually, Gurney Halleck will be given the fiefdom of E.D. Prime, which is an interesting account in which he outlaws slavery and then he begins to repair and fix the ecology of that planet to make it a more livable and sustainable world. So whether or not you uh, only like the 1984 film, the new films, the original Frank Herbert books only, or do you like all the books? Uh, Gurney Halleck plays an important part through all of those stories. And I am curious in the next part, part two, Dune part two, that comes out in approximately a month, whether or not they're gonna have that subplot of Gurney believing that Lady Jessica was the actual traitor, and if there will be a standoff between him, her, and Paul. So I am interested to see that dynamic, if it does play out. But in closing, the main thing to remember when talking about Gurney Halleck was that he is a skilled war master. He hates the Harkonnen deeply due to being a slave previously by the Harkonnen and that he was extremely loyal to the Atreides family and would basically give his life for any of the members of that family. But if you do enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Please leave comments below. Tell me of any information that uh, might not be expressed in this video. And uh, I'm open to all suggestions. And I will see you next time. Thank you.